So something I've wanted to do since I started this channel was to go to this little thing they call CES in Las Vegas. And it's something, you know, I've been doing this channel, I think, three, four years now, and I've lost track. Um, but I wanted to go to CES. I wanted to see what it was all about. I wanted to see different vendors, get to know people, uh, meet people, things like that. See what kind of gear is coming out, that kind of thing. Um, now, I'm going to say I, I'm, I'm kind of a disappointment for you because I did not take a lot of video while I was there. Uh, I was, you know, I have fibromyalgia, so I, you know, just getting there was a challenge. And, you know, I had to use my cane while I was there because if I walk too much, my legs start to give out, that kind of thing. So it was kind of a challenge just getting there. It's a lot of walking. Uh, but... It was really an interesting experience. And if you notice my last video, I was kind of rushed. I was kind of, uh, I was out of breath. Um, you know, and I had all those subs in that video and I was doing all kinds of things. And it's kind of comical because I was just so rushed in getting it all done that I didn't have time to dial in the PB3000s before I left. I actually ended up calibrating those inside the RV uh, at Las Vegas on the strip. <laughs> so yeah, at about one o'clock in the morning too, which surprisingly I didn't get kicked out. Um, but it was an interesting trip. Um, I learned a lot of new things. Uh, I met with people at, at Denon. Uh, I met with people at Emotiva. Uh, I met with uh, SVS. I met with them for the first time ever. I uh, met with Nick and, and Gary and Dan. Um, and so it was really neat. I always wanted to do that. I always wanted to see what it was all about. Um, and uh, basically, I just crashed it. I just snuck in. I didn't really, I wasn't that sneaky about it. Uh, I didn't have any credentials or anything. Uh, I didn't register. I just went in and said, yeah, how do I find suite number such and such? And they're like, oh, yeah, you just go right through there and, you know, up to floor 29 and that's where everything is. And so <laughs> it was interesting. I, I saw a lot of stuff. I listened to some very expensive audio. Um, nothing I'm really going to name out because I wasn't like super excited about it and I don't want to give anybody a hard time. I experienced a, uh, what do you call it, a, a, a IMAXed enhanced demo. Uh, that was interesting. I went in for the SVS demo and I got surprised because they had new towers. Um, hopefully, <laughs> I'm allowed to talk about that, but I imagine if they had it at CES, you're allowed to talk about it. But uh, it's this new tower called Prime Pinnacle, and it is really awesome. It, uh, it's basically the same type of footprint as the Prime Tower, but with, six, or with three base drivers. Um, it's basically an in-between the normal Prime Tower and the Ultra Tower. Uh, they're trying to get it closer to the Ultra Tower, which I would have the Ultra Towers in here if I could, but because of the footprint, I can't quite do it. The Prime Pinnacle, I can. So I'm really looking forward to that. I miss having towers. Um, bookshelves are cool. These bookshelves are really nice, uh, but there is something about a full range tower that is quite nice. Um, so that was neat. Um, a couple of things that uh, were interesting that happened while I was there. Uh, number one, I hit 10,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. That was, it was quite a culmination kind of trip. Um, not only did I go to CES for the first time ever, uh, I hit 10,000 subscribers while I was there. So that's really cool. Um, thank you so much. I mean, me even going to, to CES wouldn't be possible without my subscribers, without my viewers, without, without the support I get. Um, you know, when you guys follow my links and stuff like that, that all helps me do things like this. So I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, it, it was just a really neat experience. Everyone was really cool. Uh, it was just a neat, fun time. I was only there for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, that's about as much as I could do, but it was still really nice meeting everybody uh, and seeing new products. Uh, Emotiva has this really awesome uh, processor out and it's, it's amazing, over 16 channels. I'll put more description down below. I should have that before I shoot this video, but I'm kind of shooting off the cuff here. Um, but yeah, I mean, we went and we packed everything up. We got everything loaded. And this is only uh, the third trip we've taken in this RV. And it's a big one. And we went over 700 miles to get to Vegas. So uh, 
but everything went really well, no damage, no nothing. Uh, everything traveled well, so I brought the dogs with me, and and so it's just been quite a quite an experience. And so, um, and so, if you guys are interested in meeting up with me, um, hearing this setup, things like that, um, just send me a message on Facebook and let me know where you are. And what I'll do is I'll kind of see where the hot spots are, where people are located and let's say there's a bunch of people near seattle well maybe i'll do a thing in seattle or something like that you know what i mean if i have an idea of where my viewers are that are interested in seeing this um interested in in meeting me in person uh you know meeting the dogs that kind of thing uh, just let me know where you are and then i can kind of plan accordingly um also another thing i'm kind of interested in is you know hearing subs that you know companies won't send it out to me they i just get kind of ignored um if you have subs that you think should be on the list uh and you have a setup and you want me to hear it let me know i mean i'm i'm willing to, to do that um i you know the, the, having the rv project gives me a lot of flexibility that i didn't have before so you know whatever ideas you guys have let me know i think it's fun um one other thing I'll point out <laughs> that's funny about the whole CES thing. Um, number one, uh, <laughs> the people at SV, or, you know, you got SVS and then you've got all these other, um, you know, brands there all doing their thing. And <laughs> they kind of have this reputation as being the bruisers on the block. <laughs> I guess I, that's the way I would characterize it. You know, they, they have all this big base going on. And so everyone knows who they are uh, that are nearby because it's kind of hard to miss. Um, but one thing that really took me by surprise is that they had their, you know, their, their new tower set up and then they had a ported PB3000 and then they had a sealed uh, SB3000. And which is cool, you know, they're, they're showing off both of their uh, new subs and, and things like that. So it made a, a lot of sense. The issue I had was I, I'm running duels. I won't run anything other than duels. And so when I went in and watched their demo, something was missing. <laughs> and it's their demo. It's SVS's demo. They, they set it up. Everything's great. But I knew what these things can do in a dual configuration. And I, I so, you know, going and hearing that, you know, it, it sounded good and everything. But I was like, man, imagine what it would sound like in here with duels. And so it was just one of those things that, that I couldn't help but notice uh, because it, it, you know, when you're used to duels and you go back to a single, it kind of smacks you across the face. I mean, you, it, it's hard not to notice the differences. And so that was just one of those things that I noticed in, in, in going there and seeing that. Um, and I'm sure it's a well thought out decision. I'm sure it's a, you know, a conservative thing. I, I, I'm not trying to give them a hard time about it, but believe me i i noticed the difference and so um yeah so that was just one of those things but um but yeah i had a lot of fun there it was crazy uh when i got there uh it was around 3 30 and when we left it was around 5 30 and everybody was getting out and it there were so many people there it was crazy i only went to like this one small portion of ces there was this whole other thing that i didn't have the ability to see because i wasn't registered things like that but it was it was just it was a cool experience but vegas was super super busy uh and it was just crazy so but anyway so that's just my update video on on crashing ces um i don't know if i'll go back next year i'm not sure uh, i'll just kind of see what happens um but it was certainly one of those things that i always wanted to do and being able to do that and at the same time cracking 10,000 subscribers was just kind of it was really nice. It was it was a lot of things coming together. So, uh, and again, I have my audience to thank. You watching my video, commenting, liking, disliking, everything. It all helps. And so I'm very appreciative. Um, and it's just a, it was a fun experience. And if I ever do it again, I will definitely bring video gear and actually do shooting and, and figure out some way to have more time to, to do that kind of thing. Um, but this was my main goal was to meet people and see what was out there and just kind of get a feel for what CES was all about. 
and see if I want to go back next year and that kind of thing. So, uh, but yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, again, stay tuned. I got some more stuff coming up. That's uh, pretty interesting. And uh, again, thank you so much for hitting 10,000 subscribers. That's just amazing to me. Um, I really appreciate it. So again, thanks for watching and please subscribe.